hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class this is called uh, chemistry another episode of jump chemistry and today uh we're supposed to go to uh the fifth group all right but before that we're going to be discussing about diagonal the diagonal relationship the diagonal relationship all right so it is very very important to understand what this concept all right so the diagonal relationship is uh, is a term that's used to describe uh, similarities in properties of certain period two of certain period two and period three elements all right it's a term that is used to describe similarities in properties of certain period two and period three elements diagonally placed diagonally placed all right so that is what what the term diagonal relationship what entails it's a term which to describe similarities in properties between certain period two and period three elements diagonally placed before we continue please note that this video tutorial of course is brought to you once again by the o3 schools jam app it is the perfect app that you need for success for sure success for sure success in your examination it has all that you need all the past questions are on the app so many practice mode that will make you that will make that will put you in the position as if you are writing your jam exam there's a practice mode on the app there's a study mode on the app there's a uh, mock mode there's an exam mode you can take exam you can see you score your scores and then you can what improve your confidence before the main exam the app has all that you need wonderful features such as the question search feature the classroom feature where you be where you'll be learning when you're in a particular question you can ask the the chat box any question you want to ask relating to what that particular question and it will give you what answers that will take you to the word it will give you answer that will take you to the that will direct you to the correct option to pick right it has wonderful features so that the utm challenge that we conduct for all students who are partaking in jam every year we conduct that challenge every week every week every week till one week to what to the jam exam all right students win prizes and of course they're able to watch to see their score just like how jam releases what the jam was scores, and then they're able to what to improve on their what on their weaknesses wonderful features such as what this there's a gaming feature where you can have fun while you are learning so you can do play who wants to be a millionaire on the on the app right and play wants to be a millionaire on any subject and questions on that subject from jam with what we ask we ask what you'll be asked and then you have to answer them and what and win some virtual money the money is not real low. don't come and message me and say that uh, i i want five thousand dollars i me want to give five thousand dollars now so please it's just a virtual game that was designed to make you what relax and have fun while you are what you are learning in case you maybe you are in a noisy environment and you do not want to what uh practice heavily so you can just play the game you ask you some questions you see all in the bit of what, what to learn all right activation of this app is three thousand naira. it's a one-time activation fee right so if you want to get the app this, the app is available for both android phones available for both uh, laptops for computers for pcs so in case you want to get the app or you want to activate the app after downloading the app from play store just send a message to this number on whatsapp 091215152 Boxes, forces just send a message on whatsapp that uh, sir i want to activate my app or sir i want to download the app so any question that i have relating to the app please direct them to this number on whatsapp so we're talking about diagonal relationship we say it's a term that is to describe certain or similar properties between certain period two elements and period three elements diagonally what place so now i'm going to what uh Maybe use a table to what to show you uh, the periodic table, and then I'll show you what our diagonal relationship what uh, happens. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to have um, let's say we have group, then we have what period, of course. All right, so going like this. This is diagonal relationship. All right, then of course let's say I have a period, period two, then have what period three. All right. So in group 1A, 1A, we have of course lithium. Then how about in period three we have what sodium, right? Group 2A, we have beryllium, we have what magnesium. In group 3A, 
we have boron we have aluminium in group 4a we have carbon we have silicon all right so this is what uh element these are the four these are the first four groups of what of elements in the periodic table all right this is period two the element in period two so if you can take a real period table right now as you can see that what that the elements are exactly the same so there's no difference from the periodic table all right so now we are trying to see there are the diagonal relationships this is the word diagonal that means what this lithium has a diagonal relationship with magnesium beryllium has a diagonal relationship with aluminium boron has a diagonal relationship with what with silicon all right now what does diagonal relationship what tells us it tells us that despite the fact that what for example this is what 2a now despite the fact that what lithium and magnesium beryllium and aluminium boron and silicon they are not in the same group they see have what similar properties they see have similar properties right so it means that what despite the fact that lithium is not in group 2a it shows or behaves like what like group 2a what element it has the properties of what or group 2a what elements all right now for example right like boron and silicon they are both semiconductors boron and silicon boron and silicon they are both what both semiconductors but do you know that boron and silicon both form acidic oxides they both form acidic oxides they are not in the same group right but they both form what acidic what oxide so they show what similarity in what in properties they show similarities in properties now as an example to explain what the diagonal relationship i'm going to take uh lithium and magnesium as a perfect example these two together all right lithium is not in group two right but it behaves like what like group two a what element now let us see what how it does that now no, for example number one unlike other group one a what element that form group one element element form normal oxides they form normal oxides right they form peroxides peroxides they will form super oxides group 1a what element they form normal oxides they form peroxides they will form super oxides but you know that lithium does not form peroxide and super oxides lithium form only normal oxides only normal oxides just like group 2a elements so it shares resemblance with like with what with group 2a what elements by forming only normal oxides Group 1A elements, other group 1A elements, elements in group 1 form normal oxide, peroxides, and super oxide. But lithium forms only normal oxides. So it resembles what group 2A elements. Group 2A elements, just like magnesium and beryllium, they all form what normal oxide also. All right? So you see what the resemblance. Also, another important point is that do you know that lithium forms a stable nitride? Lithium forms a stable nitride li3n lithium forms a stable nitride unlike other group 1a elements that do not form stable nitride group 1a elements do not form stable nitride but what lithium forms what a stable nitride just like what other group 2a elements you see so despite the fact that they are not in the same what group of the periodic table they show similar characteristics they show similar behavior they show they show similarity in properties that is what diagonal relationship is talking about also do you know that what unlike other group one trials of carbonates trials of carbonates phosphates and fluorides unlike other group one a what trials of carbonates phosphates and fluorides right that are what soluble in water they are soluble in water do you know that what lithium is not soluble in water lithium is sparingly sparingly soluble in water all right lithium is sparingly soluble in water right so you see just resembling what group 2 a elements group 2 a elements are also what sparingly soluble in water so lithium resembles what group 2 a elements even in terms of what solubility in water the, in, for for their trials of carbonates phosphates and fluorides 
right? So this is another point to show that what diagonal relationship what exists between what elements in the periodic what table. Likewise, do you know that I've talked about this in the pre in the previous class also, right? In the previous episode of the periodic table, that that the trials of carbonate of group one A elements are stable to heat. Trials of carbonates of trials of carbonates of what group one A elements are stable to heat. They are stable to heat. But do you know that what that lithium trials of carbonate four lithium trials of carbonate four is decomp it decomposes on heating. To give what the oxide, it decomposes on heating to give the oxide and carbon four oxide and CO2 just like group two elements, right? Unlike what other group one element, uh, group one A um, elements whose trials of carbonate are stable to heat, lithium trials of carbonate four is not stable to heat. It decomposes on heating to give what the oxide and what and carbon four oxide just like group two A element. So if you see that what See between what lithium and magnesium, you see that what they have a similar word characteristic, they have a similar word properties. So that means that what diagonal relationship actually what exists between what elements in the periodic table. But now, how, why, why does this happen? Now, remember that when I was telling you about teaching you about periodicity or properties of elements before now, right? I've talked about in the previous episode periodicity or properties of elements. If you have not watched it, you have you are not doing yourself, please go back look for that video and watch and watch it immediately right and i remember telling you in that what video that what that electronegativity electronegativity and ionization energy right even including what electron affinity they decrease down the group decreases down the group right but increase, but increase, increase across the period, right? Right? That means what? Electronegativity and ionization energy, they decrease what down the group, but increase across the period. Down the group, they decrease. Down the group, they decrease. Across the period, they increase. So if you see, this is a decrease, this decrease, this is what? Increase. As, as you can see, these are two opposing world tendencies. This one is going this way. This one is going what the other way. They are opposing world tendencies. Now, people over there that what if what a relationship if what a relationship between what elements if it is not diagonal that means it will not have any effect because this tendency this opposing tendency will cancel each other out. This uh, this one that is going this way and this one is going this way they will cancel each other out and then this one will have what no effect. Instead they will show what similar what property they will show similar characteristics they will show similar behavior. So that is why we see that what elements that are diagonally placed in the periodic table have a similar characteristics, right? So that is what the concept of diagonal relationship, that despite the fact that an element may not belong to a particular group, right? But it will have a similar properties as what, as what another what group, all right? So please, Take note of that. That's diagonal relationship. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you, watch, you subscribe to this channel so that you can get notification whenever we publish a new video. And make sure that you share this video to what to your friends, to your class groups, and to your to your family friends who are preparing for what for various exams. Right? And I'll see you in the next episode.